Hi, I'm Rob with MIDIDrumFiles.com. I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to create um, bass lines from using just the drum track to start. So basically we're just going to take a drum track and use that to create the bass line. So what I want to do, first of all, is, is grab a, a, a drum track. So if you don't want have one that you uh, already want to use, you can go on over to mididrumfiles.com and um, grab some of the free ones there. You can either buy the, uh, the the packs that we have available or just click on free downloads and you can um, you can just download some to use. So grab uh, you know a couple or whatever to try and and uh, come back and and uh, I'll show you how to do this. Right today I'm using Sonar Producer Seven, and uh, so you can use any that you want to use Pro Tools, Cubase, uh, any of them will work. But uh, I'm j I'm happen to be using Sonar. So what I'm going to do to start is I'm going to uh, Go find the file that I want to use. In this case, I want to use uh, dance 44.mid. It's a MIDI. It's all it is is just a MIDI drum track. So I'm going to take that, drag it in on the screen here. You can see um, Sonar. The one of the nice things about Sonar is it just creates a new document and sets up the tracks for you, which I really appreciate. So I'm going to delete all these tracks that I don't actually need. And uh, here we have the drum track, and uh, if you've uh, been following along other tutorials that I have, you'll know that just hitting play uh, doesn't do anything. You can't hear anything. So what you have to do is set up a virtual track. Uh, so I'm going to grab a uh, insert track from template, virtual, uh, and I'm going to go down to rhythm sets and standard kit. So that uh, gives me a virtual track and another MIDI track. So that at this point, if I take my MIDI file and drag it down into the drums um, and then hit play, now you should hear drums. Let's see. There we go. Okay, that's what we want to hear. But drums is not what we're after at this point. What we want is bass line. So I'm going to take, I'm going to insert another virtual track from template and go virtual TTS1 bass I'm gonna do a fingered bass here so that sets up another virtual track and MIDI track so what we're after is this bass MIDI track right here and what we want to do is take the drum track and create a bass line out of it so I want to take the drum track and copy it down into the bass line and uh, so I'm going to hold down control to do a copy of that. And then I want to go into the piano roll editor of this line. If, if I hit play right now, it's going to sound horrible. And if, if further into the song, it even sounds worse. I don't know, you might be going for that sound. But if, uh, if not, we'll need to do some editing. So... Uh, normally, I could just double click on this track since I'm I'm in record mode. It doesn't let me, so I have to hit, I have to right click and go into view and piano roll. And that brings up the piano roll um, viewer, and I can see the MIDI hits and the velocities and everything. Well, what I want the velocities are getting in the way, so I'll uh, I'll turn those off and just just look at the MIDI uh, notes themselves. So first thing I want to do is just delete all the junk that I don't need and that's this and this and um probably that line and that line let's hear it now yep okay so that's that's better let's see when i get over here though i've got some more junk to, to delete just deleting all those lines and i think is that everything Okay, that should be everything. Okay, so now uh, we, we need to set this up for the um, for the chord structure of our song. And so I want to take, uh, in this particular song, let's uh, drop the tempo down to maybe 110. And then I want to, I'm just going to do a, a just a, some kind of standard chord progression. And uh, I'm going to take this line and make it a third up. And um, let's see, I'll take, I'll start on C, that's fine. Then uh, in measure two, I'm going to take all the notes from measure two and bump them actually down to F. 
Then I'll go to A minor. Take these. Let's see. I need to shorten this one. I don't want any uh, bass line overlapping because that generally doesn't happen on the bass uh, when when you're just playing it. Sometimes it does, and so you can, you know, you can uh, use that however you want. But uh, let's see. All right, so then I'll go to G with this one. Okay, so let's hear. I'm gonna still gonna have to edit some, but. Hmm, wasn't quite what I expected. Let's see, let's move this down. I think something happened to this in the, must have got moved. Let's see, all right. Oh, that's because that's not on F. So let's move it down to F. So some of these are are uh, you have to you have to adjust for the. Don't like that note there. Let's see. So that's actually kind of a cool. Now the key to bass lines really is to is to keep them uh, kind of simple, because if you get too complex. Uh, all of the time, then then it's, it just sounds too complex and it and it doesn't work. So you want to try and keep them simple. There are there's a time and a place for complexity in the bass line. Uh, in this particular tutorial is not the time or the place. <laughs> so I'm going to um, take all of this here through measure eight and delete it, and then I can um, take take these and copy them over. So what I want to do is go back go to measure nine then. Let's, let's move these things. Let's take all these and move them down. So I got C and then E flat. So basically we can I'm gonna take everything after measure nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Delete that out. And um, I just kind of do the same thing, do, a, do the chord structure of my chorus section. Um, I don't know, it can be different. Let's do E minor, then we'll do, oops, let's see what happened there. I took one of these notes with me. And do E minor, then we'll do, F and then G. And we'll see how that sounds. So, I mean, the more creative, the more time you spend being creative and and the the better your chord structure in general is, the better the bass line is going to sound with the drums. But that's that's the general idea. You can delete notes, you can add notes from here, but this is basically a starting point, a, a base a base point uh, to start on. So, um hope you enjoyed that. If you have any tips or ideas, please uh let me know and um, any, any way to improve this process, I would love to hear about it. So um, thanks. Bye-bye.